Someone was asking me, what's your best example of clean language being of use? It's a really interesting question because, of course, my head goes off into what kind of best is that best? Does he mean the most um, impactful? Does he mean the easiest? Um, does he mean um, the one I recommend most frequently? Does he mean the one I use most frequently? Does he mean the one that most people have reported being most successful? What kind of best is that best? And I realised that I could use that word best to mean what I choose it to mean. So let me use the opportunity to tell you about one of the ways I use clean language most frequently, which leaves most people having most fun. It's a little icebreaker that I use at the beginning of uh, trainings or conferences or meetings. It goes like this. First thing is the setup, which is to make sure everybody has an answer to the question when you are Xing at your best, you are like what? So X in that question could be something to do with the topic of, of the uh, event. So if it's a training, I might well ask when you're learning at your best, you are like what? And then I make sure everybody's got two clean language questions written on a piece of paper. What kind of X? And is there anything else about X? So far, so good. I get them lined up in two lines, facing each other, standing, so that everybody's got one partner. People on one side start by saying, when I'm learning at my best, I'm like a sponge, for example, whatever their answer is. And the person on the other side asks them some clean language questions kind of sponge? Is there anything else about that sponge? They ask as many questions as they can squeeze into usually a minute and I ring a bell or blow a whistle or make some kind of noise and they swap roles. Minute, nine seconds again, again ring a bell and one person from one end moves down to the other end so everybody moves down one, new partner, go again, do it once more, new partner, go again. You know it's working when the volume goes up. I've done this in uh, different countries where I don't speak the local language. And I always say, do this activity in the local language, even though the rest of the training is going to be in Czech or whatever it might be. Um, and you can tell it's working because the volume goes up, the uncertainty goes down, and people just start smiling and laughing and having a good time, chatting about their metaphors for when they're learning at their best, asking each other questions, finding out things they never knew about themselves, and it's just good fun. I do very little briefing up front. And when I debrief it, if I debrief it, so if part of the thing is learning about the clean language questions, I always ask, what did you notice when you were asked the questions? And that will really indicate just how much people enjoyed it, how much people learned about themselves. Because, of course, people are going to be uncomfortable when they ask these new questions for the first time. That's a given. But the point is that asking them provides all sorts of new information. New information for the person being asked and new information for the person asking. And they learn to have a first experience of the clean language questions. They learn about using the other person's words and about listening carefully enough to use the other person's words. So I think that's one of my best ways of using clean language. What's yours? Please comment below the video.